Okay, welcome back guys. We have another question from chapter 4 of Bjorn Johnson textbook and in today's video we have a light bar AB that is supporting 15 kilogram block at its midpoint C and we have two rollers A and B are resting against friction less surface and we have a horizontal cable AD that is attached at point A. So we need to determine the tension in the cable AD as well as the reactions at point A and B. As always, we're going to start free by diagram, but before that, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and share this content with your friends that might find this helpful. It's going to help us to grow the channel faster and reach out to more students. And let's get started. So we're going to start with the drawing the free body diagram. So we have this bar AB at point C, we have the 15 kilogram force, which is obviously the mass of the block. And if you want to find the weight, we have mass times gravitational acceleration which is 9.81 meter per square second so we have 15 times 9.81 and at two points of a and b we have a roller and when we have a roller what we have is a normal force let's call this a and here we will have a normal force b and we don't have any force for example for x for a in x direction uh, since we know that these surfaces are frictionless, so there is no friction in here. So we don't need to consider any force other than the normal force that we have in here. And we have also the tension in the cable here. Let's call it T. And that would be pretty much everything for the free body diagram. We are in equilibrium. We can go with our equilibrium equations. Let's start with sum of all forces equals zero and sum of all moment equals zero. So it makes sense again to start with the moment equation since we can get rid of some of unknowns and in here we can see that at point a we have two unknowns a and t so if we start with that point we can get rid of a and t and we can find the b so here let's just figure out the weight of this so we'll have 147.15 newton if we multiply mass and the gravitational acceleration so let's see what we have for the moment so we have the moment of the weight obviously and that would be a counter a clockwise moment so we have a negative sign 147.15 times the distance will be what we have from here to here so this is the line of action of the force so this distance would be what we are interested in. and since all the dimensions are mil in are in millimeter we're going to divide it by a thousand so we'll get 0.25 here uh, by the way we don't need to do the unit conversion because everything is in the same unit and they will be cancelled out at the end so we can just leave it the way it is millimeter uh, really doesn't matter and we have the moment of the reaction or the normal force b and since that one is counterclockwise we will have a positive sign so this will be the direction of the moment so counterclockwise positive and the distance will be what we have from here to here and that would be 350 millimeter but since we did this one in meter we have to do the same thing for here again there is no need for unit conversion in here so we only have one unknown and we can find the b which will be 105.1 newton and the direction that we assumed at the beginning was correct and it has to be to the left uh, now let's move on to our fx and fy so what we have for fx let's consider this our positive direction for fx we have t minus b and that's pretty much everything we have and if you do that we'll get t equal what we found for b 105.1 and last one is our fy equation this will be our positive side and what we have is a minus the weight equals zero and that shows the normal force a is what we found for weight which is 147.50 newton and the direction again was correct since we didn't get any number any negative number and that would be all for this question again please make sure to subscribe to the channel leave a comment let me know if you have any specific question in the comment section then we can cover it in the next videos you guys take care and i'll see you in the next one